You're leaving all your comments on Twitter. You're leaving all your comments on YouTube. You're leaving all your comments on the Amazons. It's very confusing out here. They're all over the place. But guess where you can go to leave your comments now? Facebook.com slash Queen Herbie. So excited to have a community space for us to share our ideas and share our thoughts and our feedback about these episodes. We are creating a community of creative artistic people that want to discover who they are and be bad bitches and that's the place to do it so if you want to leave a comment or participate in this witchy bitchy community facebook.com slash queen herbie is your new destination for all house of herbie commentary let's go Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is your host, Queen Herbie here, House of Herbie, a podcast, a safe space, really. It's a it's a podcast and a safe space for yeah. self-discovery, bad bitchery. Every week, we're just diving into topics with Jedi Nick. Don't. There he is. A Jedi. And I also wanted to say this week, we just dropped these gorgeous vinyls. I don't know if there will be any left by the time of this broadcast, but look at this vinyl. It's so gorgeous. This is where we do the ad for the vinyl. It's gorgeous. You can see on side one, it is a Halloween vinyl. And on side two, it is the Matt Queen vinyl. So it's one vinyl, okay, but it's two EPs. Can we see the inside of that, Nicholas? Can we just take a look at the sleeve and the, the discus? Okay, so there's the Mad Queen sleeve, okay? It's just Allison one. Oh, now we're back to the Halloween sleeve, which is, which is of course, the Mad Queen mansion. You've got the song titles. Can you show us the disc? Oh. Here's the other side. Here's the other side. Oh, well, we already saw that side. But it's Alice in her wonderland exploring um, consciousness, of course. Now we're opening up the disc, which uh, Nick is not. Where's the hole? (laughs) He's not a vinyls guy, okay? We don't don't really listen to vinyl records anymore, but y'all do, apparently. This is a ruby red, blood red, spooky disc. Come on down. She's nice and warm. I think my favorite feature of this whole design, um, I worked on this design for this one, and there is a hole. The hole that you put the vinyl on is my mouth on both sides, which makes me really pleased. (laughs) (laughs) I'm an an oral fixation girl, so thank you. Every time you play my vinyl, you will be satisfying me greatly. So this week, what we thought we would do is talk about perspective. I know it's a topic that feels so vague and so like, well, what are queen, what are we going to do with perspective? Well, it's actually everything. I know you've heard it said before, but perspective is everything. Fucking everything. And we want to talk about it because it's so fascinating. It's really been kind of, uh, as you get older too, I know some of you listening are younger than us. Some of you are older. Some of you are our age. It's like perspective gets better with age too, because you get better at flipping it. You have experience being on Earth, and you can kind of like, uh, you survive things. Yeah, it's amazing. You have like these awful things happen that you think are like, oh my God, if that happened to me, I was going to die. But you don't, and you're okay, and uh, you you learn that you're going to be okay. I think that's why we default to call our elders in times of need, because they've been through shit before, and they oh, kind totally. they have like this special wisdom. So I also think with perspective comes wisdom. I feel like they're kind of besties, or they with hold hands great and power skip down the street together. Comes great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> So we took some notes because we were like, let's try to follow a cue, but let's let's just start with talking about what perspective is. Woo! What the fuck is perspective? <laughs> I don't know. Are you asking me? I'm asking. Are we going to talk about it? This now? is a test, Jedi Nick. <laughs> oh, this is a. Je- I've Jedi, had enough tests this a week. A Jedi test. <laughs> okay, uh, perspective. I it, would say perspective for me is uh, my outlook, my position. Right. So you have to. It's a choice. Mm-hmm. Your your lens, your a lens. your lens into the world. Because have you ever seen those? Maybe y'all are not as much nerds as us about video shooting videos. But you see those videos where they show like the different lenses in the same shot, mm, and you're like, sure. holy shit! It changes everything yeah, okay. if you just switch the lens to like yeah. whatever millimeters. Yep. Or like a fisheye is a whole different energy and and perspective. Yes. It's like your own eyeballs being open and seeing the world is your perspective. Yeah. And then then the, the a couple of weeks ago we talked about um intuition and how like 
if you are able to observe yourself observing the world, that's another perspective. Yep. So we're like these eternal beings with this really advanced consciousness and we're able to choose whatever perspective we want to have. And for there, cause we can go like 800 ways with this. When you're talking about creating too, your perspective is so important because that's, it's, you're literally the only one with that perspective. At the same time, there are other people who can relate and understand, but your way that you're going to tell your story or paint your picture or any of these things is going to be all so specific to who you are, which is going to make it unique and special. So that's always a fantastic fucking thing that you got to lean into. You got to lean into your own perspective on things because also I promise so many people, I mean, Alex, Amy, both of you guys felt like probably your perspective was like, you're like, no one will ever understand or no one would ever get it. And there are people, they're like, holy shit, dude, I've had the same or similar things from a different lens, obviously, but I had similar things that happened to me. So that you wanted to be able to like, you know, start a community, share, whatever. We use perspective a lot as a tool to create. We do. We do. And it's been like a conscious effort to like choose that mm. and practice it. Yep. Okay. So like when we first started Carmen, this was the thing. And then when we started Queen Herbie and we still do it, um, this is, this is all about perspective. And if you can only make things, if you only focus on things that are good, that is actually what you end up seeing. And because that's what you end up seeing, that's what ends up happening. Right. So you're just creating more positive things. And so, the more that you see and think about, the more you're going to get. Correct. So perspective is our gateway drug to manifesting. Yeah. Which is like turned into a naughty word. Like people hate the word manifest. It's like, it's just been abused. <laughs> yeah. That word has been totally used. Like the WeWork. Did you watch the WeWork show? Oh my show? God. Yeah, it's yeah. like, we're going to manifest it. It's like, okay, but your intentions aren't good. Like, right. Right. So perspective is a gateway to real manifestation in the most sacred sense of the word of like you sustainable manifestation, sustainable, like something that you came to this planet to do. And like, if your life purpose, you, you know, there are one of our first episodes was find your purpose. It's like, okay, let's find your perspective. It's not always going to be consistent either. Is it? No, you, you have to practice it. Okay. So there was, um, a, a exercise that we first learned when we were starting, Okay, so when we very, very, very beginning first started Carmen, um, there was nothing. There wasn't any, uh, there, we had, I was slapping a box. You were trying to you learn guitar. Yeah. It was such Not a good. very, 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 no, you Not were great. You, I, I was? Want to, I want to get you back to guitar. But because, I like having my long nails. <laughs> if I go back to playing guitar, I have to cut my nails. That's what it I is. I love my, I like, it just makes uh, me feel very uh, feminine. Do it. No, do it. But your feel. You were chunking and missing shit all over the place. Absolutely. Fucking tone awful. But I could your feel, feel it. feel yeah. was actually really unique. It Thank was you. your perspective, babe. It was my sound. Well, there was, <laughs> yeah, honestly. But okay, so there's this thing called, um, there was this chart that, I forget which book this is from, but there was this chart that we read that was your circle of concern and your circle of influence. Okay. So you have this big, imagine this, this big round, this, this big circle, this big <laughs> round circle. And then the <laughs> she's really round. Okay. Large tracts of land. I always said the diagram of this looks like a boob. It's it a big definitely circle looks like a tit. and a small nipple. It's like Love a it. big circle is the tit and the small circle is the nipple. Yep. Right. Hot. So it's like big circle, small circle. So the big circle is the circle of concern yep. and the small nipple circle is the circle of influence. Yes. So what's weird about this guys is your circle of concern is like stuff you're worried about, stuff you have no control over. It's always naturally going to feel a lot bigger mm -hmm. than what you have control over, which is the circle of influence. So if you start putting your energy on the nipple, on the circle of influence, it starts to grow. Like what you focus on grows. This is like a scientific proof. So you're focused on what you can control and what you can do. And oftentimes it's helpful to like become the opposite vibration of what you're concerned about, right? Like if you're concerned about the world's going to shit and global warming and all this horrible shit, you're like, cool, I'm going to make sustainable businesses. I'm going to work with not like not toxic people. I'm going to like hold the people I love even closer. We're going to empower people that are like us. And then all of a sudden the nipple gets so big, like the circle of influence actually eventually 
meets the circle of concern. And it so solves, then that gets rid of the circle of that gets rid of concern. Yes. And it ends up solving the more that you focus on what's going well, rather than going outside and trying to fix all of these problems, which, you know, that's a, that's a perspective we'll talk about too. But like, instead of, instead of just going out and trying to always focus on what's wrong, just only focus on what's going well and what's working. And eventually what happens, the bigger that circle gets, it starts solving all of these problems in different ways right. than trying to meet it head on. Hmm. And we've experienced this several times. And the large, the more you just focus on what's working and what's working is solving all these other problems that you were trying to fix. Yeah, and it's still d difficult. You know, there'll be days when you still like notice something you're concerned about, and you like catch yourself like focusing on it, right? So yeah. I think we should talk a little bit about how to like maintain perspective too. It's, it's it's difficult. Even you know, difficult toxic people are unable to see beyond their perspective. Like these are this is the going back to those David Hawkins books. Like they can't see it. Uh, they're cemented. They're inflexible. It's like it's like uh, people that age quickly. It's like they're not stretching. They're not working out. Like their muscles, everything just becomes um, hardened, brittle. Yeah, brittle. And so, if you're inflexible and unable to change your perspective, that's that's really the danger zone. You Dude, just want to always be flexible. Everything you just comes back to being loose, man. Everybody's just got to fucking keep it loose. Got to keep it saying? loose. So one of my favorite things to do on my live chats back in the day when I used to go live more often, this was like when live chats were much more popping too, um, folks would leave comments and I would see them and I was like, okay, yes, yes, your job is toxic. Okay, you want to leave, da, da, da. And then I would flip it for them. So we had this little thing going for a few weeks where I would just like flip people's situations. Fucking flip it with Queen Hubby. Flipping it. Uh, Flippin so it. it's like, how do you take a difficult... <laughs> Uh, situation and try to find the positive flip on it because that's yeah. perspective yes like how do you do that right so let's say you're you know uh what's an example um okay you're at your toxic job you're at your toxic job you are learning what you don't want to do now you know that you don't want to work here or work in this in this environment or whatever it is. You're learning the things that you didn't know prior when you took the job thinking this was going to be a good job. Now you have the perspective of, in the experience and all of these wonderful things to be able to say, oh, okay, actually, that's great. I'm good with this. I don't like this anymore. Right. This, is, this isn't for me. Then what we talked about before, finding out what you don't want to do is almost is as important as finding out what you do. True. And that is like, so, you know, if you fucking hate your job, you can, you can leave. But from that experience, understand what it is about it that you don't like. Right. So you can get, uh, you can have an educated, you know, you're run for when your next job. You're paying your dues, which I, I hate that phrase, but you're paying your dues to refine your purpose. Yeah. You're paying your dues to say, oh, I'm going to chisel this diamond a little bit tighter and it's going to sparkle way more. Put that right in but there. you pay a lot more for like a sparkly diamond. Right. You know? Like you pay a lot more, meaning time, energy, effort. And like we always say, like if earth is a school and we, 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 cho our souls chose to come here. If, if y'all out there believe that the soul continues on forever, you have to feel like it's for real. Like yeah. this has to, it, it's, it's going to hurt, but you can also choose a different perspective on the hurt. Exactly. You really have a choice. I think that's the biggest thing. Don't let anybody convince you that you don't have a choice on how to look at something. I think this is a good time to note also that if you're in that <laughs> circle of concern and you're in a negative perspective and you can't flip it, there's also, it's also perfectly, you can't even make the wrong choice. We were in that zone at the label for a while where we were like, this is hopeless. We need to get, we need to quit. Like, man, that is the juiciest sauce you can get from your life. Because from there, where do you go? The fuck it stage. Yes. At that point, you're like, fuck it. Yeah. What worse could, could be going on? That's like, such a fun and dangerous place to be. It's, the, it's my favorite. Because you're like, okay, cool. I'm a trombone, I'm a trombone player. <laughs> so we're going to fucking take over the trombones. Yeah. I'm building a trombone out of, uh, you know. Or whatever was on paper your, mache. your icky guy chart. <laughs> if you haven't done the Find Your Purpose episode, I recommend that. But, you know, it's, it's a time to really, man, when we were going through our shit this year, I was like, wow, making content, which I used to hate doing, making, making music, which I sometimes am annoyed to do, mm. felt great. It really gives you the perspective. So if you're in, if you're going through hard times, just remember that this is an opportunity for you to, to 
to mine those jewels, get those jewels out of it, because you're gonna get bigger, sparklier jewels. In the fucking grass, this is this is the most annoying part. The grass is always fucking greener. <laughs> always, even if Dude, you get the thing you always wanted. Oh my, especially. <laughs> Uh, if you get the thing you always want. What I Especially. love. Especially. I love to see like, uh, or, you know, if I meet a rich person or somebody that just came into a lot of money, I'm like, cool. How do you feel? And they're like, absolutely no fucking different. <laughs> I got the same problems, but now I got more houses. I got more problems too. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's just fascinating. This, the design of life is actually perfect. It's pretty, well, money. You got to start trusting that. We still think money and fame and things are like good and aren't going to solve our problems. Really, all they do is just exacerbate the problems that we already had. Basically. That's it. Except now you have way more things that you got to fucking deal with and people you got to, who are trying to take shit from you. Yep. Man, perspective in creating. Because this is a podcast for creatives. This is for, we need your art. (laughs) Uh, perspective in your creation time and your zone is so important because you're like, you're defining what it is that you're trying to say. Right. And so if you're like trying to write a song about a sugar baby and what is she saying to her sugar daddy and what is she saying to the haters? That's like a whole perspective that you can adapt and use to infuse into your art. Telling stories. Telling stories, storytelling is yeah. our perspectives. So that's that's really fascinating too. So this is super, perspective is super important for creative. Uh, thoughts shape reality. I mean, this is this is going into these like woo-woo clinics now. It's like, you, did you know like what you think like actually just manifests your experience? Hey, what you think, so like- You've if, heard this before. If you're like, yeah, of course, this is, and I feel like this is now becoming like a mainstream topic, but what you think you attract, right? The what law of What you think you become. Right. So if you're like, oh, shit, this fucking sucks. I know this is going to be awful and all these terrible things are going to happen to me. And it's like they do. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're like, oh, and that only like makes more terrible things happen because so then you're like, you, I knew it. How do you choose a more desirable perspective when that's happening? It's an allowing. So so I think also creating. So letting go of the negative one. Because there's also space. such a fucking payoff. You get such an egoic payoff when you're like, oh, this is awful. This is shit. True. Do y'all ever notice that? Like when you're God, in a bad mood and that. you're like, yeah, and so it feels good to be in a bad mood. It feels good to be like fucking pissed. <laughs> but you're just going to keep being angry and keep manifesting yep. horrible things. Like we, when we're mad, we'll like, like have to swerve around somebody and then they like flip us off and we're like, oh, wow, we just manifested that. That's our energy <laughs> right now. It's awful. Yeah, it's, it is. Uh, yeah. I, so will, I will say too that um, for me, I've noticed I, I can manifest better once I've actually listened to my intuition. Because mm. yes. if you're ignoring what it what is so clearly being like yes. drummed up inside of you, yes. I feel like you can't, you're, you're going to manifest a negative thing. Exactly. The outcome is negative. And yeah. how do you even trust yourself? How do you trust your intuition if you're like, well, she's just being a, a, a rude bitch right now. <laughs> you know, like, well, I can't hear anything, but she's rude and she's angry. Mm-hmm. So then I, that's when I suggest going to your list of like, have a snack, take a nap, take a walk, hug a puppy. Listen, listen, like sit with yourself. For, for me, I, I've learned that whenever I'm fucking pissed, it's because like I'm tired. <laughs> right. Or hungry. Or, or hungry. Or there's, there's something about it that's like, that's um i haven't realized that it's like it's connected to my body you know it's something about my body that's making me have negative thoughts um but yeah so finding just keeping things keeping things loose slowing the fuck down um put exactly like put on uh, your favorite song uh do, you have to be treat self-aware yourself. enough to self-care self-aware yeah, equals down. self-care yeah go get a fucking latte somewhere what do you like to do give a high five to a stranger do something nice for yourself go steal a car <laughs> well maybe not that <laughs> i have one question how yeah. do we know is there even such thing as truth oh okay you're going there because if you're looking at perspective it's like what is the right perspective what is the truth what is the Sh- sure but truth is truth is only through one you know, truth doesn't really truth exist. Truth still has to go through a lens. Right? Yeah, it's still well, it's all like everybody. Lens, the only person who's determining what's true or not are still humans. All disagreements right? are like, well, but I see it this way, and but you see it that way. Right. It's all just a matter of perspective. Right. What's good for us is bad for something else, or vice versa, or whatever. Oh, it can always Forever. be seen a million ways. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I think in like witchcraft, we say um, for the good of all harming none, 
like whenever you do a spell or an incantation or like an intention set an intention in your practice you're like for the good of all harming none Mm. and i'm like damn that is really amazing because that might mean something totally different than you think yeah like it might be good for you to like go through something difficult yeah and that you just have to trust it yeah enlightened people say that a lot too Mm. that they 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 come from that spot it's really cool. Yeah, because there is, I mean, if you're trying to find perspective, you know, there's, that's what I'm saying. It's a choice. There's always two, at least two sides available. Mm-hmm. We're in a dual, duality-based um, totally. nature. And, and there are some tricks that you can do. Like, you can just think the exact opposite of what you're thinking. Right. I, I practiced that the other day. I was like, okay, this is a difficult situation that has me frustrated, impatient, and sad. And I was like, cool, what are the opposites of that? So this is a, a nice workaround. So frustrated, what did I say? Impatient and sad. Yeah. So f- opposite of frustrated would be like um, fulfilled. Okay. Uh, impatient would be like patient. <laughs> and <laughs> sad would be joy, right? Yes. So I'm going to feel, so instead I'm going to choose those other words. Yeah. And I sit there and I spend 10 minutes meditating on what is that. And sometimes you have to go into like details. You're like, okay, what makes me feel like patient? And you're like, oh, well, like my music career, I've been really patient with my music career and it's really paid off for me. Like I feel very fulfilled or what has made me feel joyful? Um, Disneyland. (laughs) So you just start adding, you start making this list and and what you can do is get your senses involved. Then you sit there and you're like, okay, well, what does it smell like at Disneyland? And what do I hear? And what, what am I looking at exactly? It's the Tower of Terror. And I have one of those like Mickey Mouse uh, ice it's cream. It's the Guardians cone. something now. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll it's talk about always that later. Tower of Terror for me uh. forever. <laughs> okay. But it's those, that's like how you start to, um, you start to come up with workarounds and, and that's what we call flipping it. It's like, can you sort of like trick yourself out of it, out of a bad perspective? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun to trick yourself. Just, I mean, if anybody has a uh, flip it, <laughs> we're not going to be able to do it. Yeah. If anybody has a flip it, do it on the put it in the comments or YouTube or where are we going? We're going to Facebook. Oh We're going my God. to the Facebook now, people. This is We're so commenting exciting. Yes. on Facebook. We've decided after many weeks now of I haven't House been on Facebook Herbie. in seven years. Yes. <laughs> we were like, oh, there is a Queen Herbie Facebook page and it's not really being utilized for much. Yep. So we thought this would be a good home for our community. If y'all have a Facebook page, let's hang out on Facebook. Like, I feel like that's where everybody goes to conversate and gather and, and we can share our ideas from this podcast. Yeah. Have that kind of be like the, what is it? A forum or something? I'll throw up some posts every once in a while of, of, you know, I'll, I'll put some nudes up there. Yeah. I was going to say butt shots. But I think mostly butt shots. Butt shots. <laughs> that sounds like, it's like the competing <laughs> company to like Cardi B's whip shots. It's like butt shots. What is that? What would that be exactly? Butt shots, dude. Apparently, okay. Like so loop. by the way, if anybody wants to take butt shots, just say no. Say no to the butt oh, shots. Oh, yeah. Okay? I Because you're going to get fucking hammered. Oh, yeah. No, people die. I mean, every year, people die from taking, from chugging alcohol in their butt there's no processing it goes Why? straight into your system how did this ever so it just if you have too much you can't like you know like puke it up or anything you just fucking die i can't i we're gonna no <laughs> say no i was to thinking butt like shots. butt shots like i was thinking that's, butt the, shots, t- like, that's the t-shirt this week <laughs> oh my god say no to butt shots this took such a left <laughs> so that's facebook.com slash <laughs> <Queen Kirby. laughs> I'm like, no, I choose not to have that perspective. <laughs> nah. Well, that's just my perspective on butt shots. Okay. I will never do that. Write and review. I hashtag will. butt shots. I will never do that. There's many other things I would like to do. That's two T's. So that's a circle one. of concern. Don't be concerned. <laughs> that's a circle of concern. Don't be concerned that people are doing my that. My circle of concern is that like, Nick no is definitely be, taking butt no shots. No one should be taking shots in their butt. I have not taken a butt shot, by the way, people. Neither, okay. Neither I know you're thinking, I. oh, yeah, that's what someone who has taken butt shots would say. No. Let's also not shame those out there who have taken butt shots. <laughs> um, things, exactly. Things happen I, when you're young. You know, young. listen, if you want to party, you know, just try to be safe. Things happen. You take a butt shot or two. You're okay. You I'm live to sure, tell the tale. I'm pretty sure I did a keg stand in May. <laughs> And I never thought I would do that, y'all. You have to do that when you cross the state line, actually. The good girl from Nebraska would never. (laughs) This uh, this episode's coming out like a week after Halloween, I think. And it's Mm. also a full moon. It's around the time of a full moon. So I just also want to say, if you're spooky like us, 
um, make sure you do your full moon ritual. Get this your is, crystals out. Get your crystals <laughs> out. Write down your intentions, um, what you want to bring in and what you want to let go of. Um, we could do a whole episode about full moon rituals. It's yeah, probably. so fun. It's so fun to just keep yourself centered and who you are and how you're progressing in your path. Yeah. Super dope. So back onto the topic of perspective. Yeah, 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 I have sorry. some more questions. Moving on from butt shots. So if there is no absolute truth, right? Scientists can't even determine that. Um, my research has led me to believe that there is no truth. There's always different perspectives on the same topic. But the only thing that is constant and is consistently true is goodness. Okay. I can like, see that. Generally, everyone wants to feel good. Yes. Yes. And so that is the, ultimately the fucking goal here, right? There is only goodness. There is no truth. There is only goodness. Yeah. Interesting. So in that book, Letting Go, we talk about a lot too. At the end, he, he's like, if you remove all of the egoic feelings and fears and all this shit and let everything, all your fucking dumbass fucking problems go, at the bottom, there's just love. There's just love. That's the, all that's That's there. all you're left with <laughs> at the end. Everything is just like, is serene. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Well, that's the fucking point where we're trying to fucking read this shit. <laughs> shit. But okay. So using this creatively too, your perspective creatively is you just, just continue. I can't stress this enough. Just continue to focus on the good things that are going on. Even if there are few and far in between, or even if they might be like bad at the time, like you learned that this didn't work or something, that's still a, um, a victory, such a victory. And you have to be able to do that because no one is going to come out of their way to tell you that you're incredible before you do it to yourself. Yes. Ooh, that was something interesting that I wrote down is you have to, um, you have to be cool. You have to get your, your shit together. Mm-hmm. before anybody else is yeah. going to private victories before public victories. Yeah. No, yes. that's really fascinating to learn. But what does that mean exactly? Private victories? Oh, okay. So like if you, let's say, you know, you're 15 years old and you're like, I want to be a pop star. And you're like immediately the next day you're a pop star. Do you feel like you have, you have a public victory before you have a private one? So you haven't done the work, quote unquote. You don't know who you are. You haven't experienced the, uh, the all of the, the processes and the things that are going to happen to you when these public victories happen. So you're unprepared. Sounds like somebody I know. It's like walking into a biology <laughs> test without fucking taking the class. Okay, yeah. so you're going to want to study. You're going to want to understand. You're going to want the private victories first. I remember that our desire was so great. Uh with the Carmen thing. We were like, when do you think it's going to happen? It's going to happen. And it happened. And we were like, oh, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) But we didn't even know what we weren't ready for until it happened. That's what I'm saying. I won. That's what I'm saying. I just wanted to give them a chance to soak that in. Just take it from our experience, please. (laughs) You think you want it. But you have a lot Careful more to what go. You ask yeah, for. you've got a lot more pivots and perspective shifts to work through before you get to well, a place where it's sustainable totally. and something you actually like that makes you sleep really well at night. And, and like, put yourself in positions where you're talking to a, an important agent or a, a label rep or somebody, and you're so comfortable with who you are and and what you want to say because you've done it before in your head or whatever, you've had the private victories or just life experience. You've had the private victories already, so now you are ready in who you are to go have public ones. Ooh, it's like every time I take a new call for like a collaboration with a brand or something and I'm like, oh no, I've done this. I've built brands, I know what this means and if we're gonna work together, I want you to know this, this and this and they're like, wow, amazing and then I crack a joke and then we leave. And the contract's yeah. on my desk the next day, yeah. and we fucking do it. It's like... But how long did it take to get there? This whole... My whole life. Yeah, right. Yeah. So take your time, too. And I think what you're saying, too, about like trying to force a positive perspective on things can work for a little while, but it's not going to be sustainable, probably. Yeah, you got to be honest. You do have to be honest with yourself. And if you're honestly not having a, a happy perspective, try the exercise of where you just like think of the exact opposite of the emotion. Try that. But if not relax into it the mind always wants to get going so fast and just goes faster 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 slow it down remind it that it's okay if you slow down 
take 10 fucking seconds, take a breath. This is why breath work is so important Mm. because it just allows your mind to like take a fucking nap for a second, even if it is for literally five or 10 seconds. And like you said, you access your intuition. It's frustrating focusing on breathing. It's like really aggravating at first, but mm-hmm. you practice it just like meditation. It gets easier. And start small. Don't go for 10 minutes first. Start with like a minute. Let's talk then about go the, two. Like the rewards of this though, right? So you will be able to, with the breath work, the Wim Hof that we had recommended, love that it guy. teaches you like when you get anxious or your heart starts, starts fluttering, it teaches you how to say, hey, you're hey, in girl. control. Hey girl. Hey, hey, listen, we know this. And you are (laughs) like the connection really happens. And then with meditation, I just want to say, because I hate it. I hate exercise. I hate anything that requires me to focus, but meditation unlocks a treasure trove of inspiration. I'm not even lying to you. Would I lie to you? Yes. I would. I don't know. Maybe that's my perspective. Change your perspective. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no meditation really has but i notice i have to work into it if i don't go if i Take go your time like, getting in there if i go a week without meditating i'm like oh shit Come on. i gotta build it back up lube again it up. you gotta lube it up you gotta sit there for 10 minutes lube a day up that meditation sit sit there and, and see what happens when you're watching your thoughts and they're so stupid it's like they're fucking eh, stupid i'm thinking thoughts. about this and you're like just dumb shit on. it's not gonna happen and you can't even scold yourself you have to let it float by yeah you do just let it go you're like oh there it goes just oh, observe nice. it that just one's watch gone. Her. And you're like, oh, wait, there's some stillness. Oh, I got two seconds of stillness and boop, another thought pops up. And you're like, God damn it. <laughs> and, then, and then you're like, okay, don't judge it. And then you say, that, like, this is how frustrating it is. But when you finally reach a point of stillness, all I feel it coming from like here up, like I'm saying from my chet, like my solar plexus up, all the ideas start flowing. It's like all of a sudden there's an opening. Yeah. Because your ego mind has so much to think about. It's like for no fucking reason. It's constantly concerned with survival. <sighs> So that's the only thing it's going to be. It's fear, 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 fear. <laughs> what do I need to fucking... It's like, are you going to get eaten soon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Why not? What's wrong? Oh, like, are you going to starve to death? Like, did you pay your cell phone bill? Oh my God. Did you call your mother? The mind is like really wild. So doomsday thinking, that was something I had in my notes. Like, how do you get out of a spiral? Because because I feel like perspective is also related to anxiety, right? So we yeah. have your you have your list. I need you to get your checklist together of things that help you feel good and help you feel grounded, which for me is alone time. I'm such an introvert. Yeah. I didn't used to be. Yeah. You're an extrovert. You have to go out and see friends to like clear. I do. I'm becoming more of an introvert. So honor but your I have... extrovert versus your introvert. Like if you need yeah. to take a bath alone for a week or if you need to go out and hang like get fucked up with your friends like do it (laughs) do what you need to do right doomsday thinking is the worst and i feel like it lasts some sometimes for me several days yeah so the I, i think like conscious distraction is is actually pretty healthy so if you want to like Put on a Matt Adam Sandler movie because, you know, it's going to mm. like to, to try to just kind of to break the cycle sometimes. Yes. What the other thing is you just can't like stay there and just watch movies for like a week. You but know you also mean? have to be patient and allow it to pass. You do. It's no, weird. You do. You, it's, it's, a weird, a, it's a trusting and it's allowing. Like taking care of a little baby. Yeah. Yeah. Just Yourself. Send her love. Give her a nice sandwich and some warm milk. A nice tit. Oh, <laughs> your circle of influence <laughs> and your circle of concern. That's what it is. Yeah, no, see, you see the nipple is that, all that though. really matters. Dude, That's where the milk comes from. Life is about the fucking nipple. That's where the milk comes from. That's where the milk comes from. Let's go. Bars. We just added so much to Hashtag that. Hashtag nipple. Hashtag free it. So the book that we got this from is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And this is the circle of concern versus the circle of influence. It's the tit. It's the tits. It's the titties. And like for perspective too, there'll be times when we have, even us, uh, we, I would like to think our quality of life is incredibly high. Right. And there are still times when it's, you're just like, oh, you just, the grass gets greener. You just get kind of like sucked into some kind of like, you get comfortable. Yes. And then things, but you just kind of get annoyed with it. And then you have to think about like, well, imagine if I had to go back to like my first job that I had right tomorrow. <laughs> Dairy you know? Queen. For me, lifeguard or old town canoe, old town canoe. All of a sudden you're like, what is that? Oh my God. I am so fucking grateful for this right now. Suddenly being grateful is a huge thing. Gratitude. Ooh, I didn't even write that, but oh my God. Fucking gratitude. We got to fucking talk about that shit. That's it too. Cause if you can then just actually really be grateful for what you have, you do actually create more. 
that's a that's a, that's a challenge sometimes too to to this really is such a really life hack. it is it's a life hack to really just be grateful for shit that that changes your perspective every there time. There is no shortcut. There's no way around this. You need to do the work and and you need to even if you feel stupid. There's studies that show that if you just hold a smile for 30 seconds, yeah, right, you actually become happier. <laughs> yep. Or if you hold your hands up in like the position of like I just won the race or the marathon, like if you. If you like hold your hands up in a like yes like victory position, it what actually was the thing. Sorry, keep going. It actually changes your perspective. It changes your mood. And then something that we do all the time is this thing where we just like hold our hands in fists and we go, yes, 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 yes. And we did that in the beginning of Carmen. That annoys me just listening to it. But listen, <laughs> saying yes ten times and think of something wonderful is so powerful even this is really i guess that, a manifestation tool hit that like two times a day y'all yeah and that's what we did and yes, then once we times. had a bunch of success we got away from it once we achieved the success we were looking for we, we completely st- forgot we stopped doing the things that got us there oh we are calling our shit out it's so important this no is it's so vulnerability because now we have success beyond what we've ever experienced before and it's it, it's because we continue to look at we've had a practice now having it the other way where you had the success and then you immediately stop doing the things that got you there. Yep. We exist to literally drink scotch and remind you <laughs> that you are a special fucking being with so much creative magic in you waiting to come out. And we need your art. And I know you're already working on it. And we're so honored that you are willing to do it with us as your confidants, maybe as your cheerleaders Mm. and we love the privilege of doing this with you okay so the one nice thing too for this week doing nice things for strangers yeah we that we're not reading anybody's this week we're just going to be selfish go do something nice for somebody something (laughs) random whatever you want to do leave us a comment on the facebook page get a coffee get somebody's sandwich whatever so we were at the grocery store you came with me usually i go by myself yep and uh we were at the checkout and somebody had just gotten, like the guy behind us had just gotten like, you know, it's like a takeout lunch and put on a thing and he didn't put the divider thing down. So she just was about to like ring it up for us. And we were like, oh, actually, no, that's that's not ours. And then we we're like, oh, no, I, no, please go ahead. Let, actually, let's, let's, let's get pay it. for that. Let's yeah. get it. And the guy was like, no, no, no. And I was like, dude, dude, don't make me yell at you in public. <laughs> and he was like, oh, OK. So we, you know, got him lunch and he was very uh, he's a jeweler. So he gave us our card and everything. So he needs some jewelry. Hit me up. And uh, yeah, it was just kind of like, also, it always helps you get out of a negative vibration. It really does, y'all. Doing something nice for a stranger is so surprisingly wonderful. It gets you out of it every time. Like I was the one that was like, no, 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 that's not ours. When she was about <laughs> to ring up this guy's lunch or whatever at Whole Foods, I was like, uh-uh. And then I was like, uh-huh, wait a uh-huh. Let's do it. Yeah, do it. I was it. like, wait, this is not that hard to do. No, it's not. Now, if you don't have like extra cash or whatever for the month, that's okay. There's a lot mm-hmm. of other great things you can do for strangers, but it was just really a lovely feeling. I, all the way back to the car, I was like, oh my God, what must have he been thinking? And how... How must he owes it, me half of that lunch. <laughs> how must <laughs> how must it feel for him? And 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 I wonder if he needed that today. And he gave he gave you his card. I was like, that was really sweet. Like we don't we are not asking for anything in in return. That's wonderful. Yeah, it was really fucking cool. It's cool. So yeah. thank you for sharing those with us. The Facebook page is about to be popping. I'm so excited for that. So thank you again for tuning in this week. This was all about perspective. If you're having a hard time figuring out how to flip it, if you need some help, I know that the comment section is going to be lit. Yeah. And we can help you. Our community is already like so freaking powerful. I love that we're do- creating this together. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you, Jedi Nick, for co-hosting with me tonight. Thank you for my dog, Gary, who is just nestled up. But we will see you next week. We cannot wait. We love you so much.